Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I actually haven't been uploading on YouTube as consistently as I probably should be. I took a little step back from YouTube because I was like, oh yeah, like things were getting so heavy with my dissertation. But now that my dissertation has finished and like I've submitted it, I'm even less consistent than I was when I was doing all of that. But you know what, our dance has actually been so, so fun. The piece that we're doing at the moment is obviously for our end of year show. We literally have our show on the 6th of July, so it's coming around so, so quickly. But we're doing it with these choreographers called Say, which is Sarah and Yuki, and it is actually like so fun. It's unbelievable. Like, it's very like hip hop fusion, R&B, just like everything that's up my street. Because I feel like with contemporary, like, you probably really don't care about this, but it's very like abstracty. But when it kind of goes back to like just solely focusing on like moving with the music, it's just so bloody fun. So I've been having actually a whale of the time, just like very much in my dance school era. And I've kind of like, not that I've neglected the whole like social media side, but I don't know. I've just been really enjoying that kind of like section of my life at the moment. So yeah, it's been really good. That's a little update for you. I, was, I don't know why I'm, like my shoulders have always been like somewhat big not that i have any biceps but i feel like i'm actually getting jacked at this point because the amount of press ups that we're doing is crazy but i'm also really trying to eat very very healthily i'm getting my protein in i'm getting my carbs in because the way that it is is we have four and a half hour rehearsals every day like as well as technique classes so like they're long rehearsals like you've got to be fueled for that otherwise you're literally feeling sick you're shaky and i've experienced that there was one day where i really didn't feel well the studios are so warm as well i don't know who designed our dance college but it's literally a glass building so it's like a greenhouse sometimes in some of the studios when it's got like the sun facing i don't know you've got to feel good from within to like perform your best filler that's obviously generic but yeah this video is actually kindly sponsored by hello fresh which i absolutely love because we love a little bit of cooking with Imogen on this. Yes, I have just stolen that from Jed. Jed had a section on his channel ages ago, which was like cooking with Jed. So now I'm doing cooking with Imogen. But yeah, this evening we're going to do a quick Haitian fried rice. I've literally got back from dance college not long ago. Jed literally just come back from boxing. He called me. He was like, have you started cooking dinner? I was like, ah, no, I haven't, but I'm going to get started now. But it's fine because this is actually one of the rapid meals. Also quickly, if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it's basically where you can go on online, order your meals for the week. It's a service that comes straight to your door. You can kind of cater it to whether you're feeding for two, three, for that kind of thing and you can also one of the amazing things i absolutely love is you can kind of like choose your categories of like meals so whether that's something that you need something quick high in protein low calorie if that's kind of like what you're into at the moment it's such a great way in terms of planning your meals for the week and of course there's no waste when you're literally getting all the products straight to your door the other meals that i have are chicken and creamy peppercorn sauce as well as an ultimate spaghetti and meatballs love a good meatball so yeah let's get cooking with hello fresh we of course have all our ingredients and all our instructions which is again just so so handy so we're gonna start boiling our rice and cutting up our peppers. And there we go, dinner is served. Also remember you can use IC64, 6% off your first box, and then 25% off your next eight boxes, which is just absolutely unbelievable. Like, how good is that deal? How could you not? So eat fresh this summer with me and check it out. Thank you. Hold on, I need a pick. Perfect fun. That's actually so yummy. I don't think I've ever had anything like that before. Oh, it's got a little kick to it as well. That's yum. Mmm. Mmm. I'm throwing that. That's sour cream. You make it yourself, or? I must not make sour cream. What do you think? I go went out the back, got the other, and squeezed well, it out. Sour cream is very phenomenal. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, guys, make sure to check it out. And good morning. It is literally probably the hottest day we've had in the UK so far. It's Sunday and it's meant to be 30 degrees today. I'm so excited, like beyond excited. Um, but I've got like an ad that I need to shoot, but I've kind of like killing two birds with one zone. I feel like I'm that really annoying person because I'm um, meeting up with Zoe and I think maybe some of the other girls are going to come a bit later. We're just going to do some sunbathing, have a little picnic, like that kind of fun thing. Jed's gone to boxing this morning, so I'm just like, I've been around tidying the apartment, bits and bobs, and I'm going to go meet Zoe now. But I was actually like, Zoe, is it really annoying but like I've got ads that I need to get so like can we do like a little bit of content and then we'll chill which is so annoying because you know it's this heat like the last thing you want to do is stand around like taking photos of someone so I was like I'm really really sorry I'll buy you lunch <laughs> I think we're gonna get some ice cream Greenwich is so pretty and I think that's why I wanted to pick this vlogging camera up today because I just wanted to show you Greenwich I think like in the winter Greenwich for me is like a no-go just because it's just like it looks a bit sad but when it's sunny it's like the cutest place ever Okay, so we're currently looking very different, very naked. I have, we've got a little situation going on. Obviously up top, it looks like I'm very naked. Me and Zoe are just enjoying a little picnic. Um, but it was so funny, we were literally saying like, I feel like Zoe's the one person 
and those kind of like the Instagram versus reality. <laughs> like we laugh at it so much because obviously Zoe's just helped me with those of that um, content which I'll like put on the screen here. But it was so funny because as soon as I stopped it, I took all my makeup off, my top was then off, my jeans are now unbuttoned, the sunscreen is on, looking like an oily mess. Um, we just love the contrast, you know, keeping it real. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been it's so nice. Like the weather is so nice. It's got this nice little breeze. This park is just so lovely. Like normally we sit over there, which is like the main bit. But Zoe was saying it was quiet around here, which I do agree with. It's very, very cute. I'm so pale. Oh my god, that is a sight for eyes. Um, me and Zoe just come into the pub, which is like just off of Greenwich, just for a diet, like a pint of diet coke. It's just like heavily needed. It's literally only I think what half two, quarter past two, and we're literally, we're tapping out. It's so hot outside, it's a joke. Super cute, I just love things like that, because I feel like you can't actually find, oh, you look naked. <laughs> I feel like you can't find country pubs. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I was missing, like, even when yeah. me and Jed were saying we really wanna go for like a Sunday roast, you can't find like a proper like oldie woldie. Yeah, where I feel like in Greenwich, like they're just so cute. If you ever want good at ice cream, you need to come to Dark Sugars. It is literally the most insane ice cream ever. Okay, so I left my camera back up in the apartment, but me and Zoe went to Tian Tian Market. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I don't quite know, but we bought pandan cake. It was like a massive slab though, so I've just like taken half of it in a little container. But we're gonna try it and test it out. It just so doesn't it just... look like food. It looks like fake. It looks like, you know when you're a kid and you have the little plastic kitchen? I just don't know what it tastes like. It's like slightly coconutty, but not coconut. It tastes like tiger bread to me. It tastes like pancakes. Like coconut pancakes. You know what I mean? Like I just, I can't. I like the filling, but the cream's really nice. Because like, it is just pandan, like that's the flavouring. Like when I was reading like the ingredients as well, I just said pandan. We just come down to the waterfront because it's just so nice down here. But we were thinking about sitting in the sun though, but we were literally like, we've been sat in the sun. <laughs> Shovel it in, girl. We've been sat in the sun for so long, I think we don't have a heat stroke while well, I'm actually sick of it. I'm just like getting away from it. I'm, like, so we so just cute. snuck this out her bag and she didn't tell me that she got them. So we both love um, mochi. Mochi, mochi. But it's peanut and sesame seeds. Okay, I'm intrigued. Anyways, cheers. Cheers. That's so good. It was like peanut butter and sesame toast. It's a little sugary though. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like sweet peanut butter. It's like a sweet, sweet and savory. Oh my god. I just love the texture of my Mmm. Okay, so it's been a little bit of while, but honestly, these past two weeks have been so crazy. So I'm just picking this vlog up now again. But it's actually because I promised this from last video that I really wanted to include this in the next video. So here's the next video. Let's do it. Um, obviously, you can see we're obviously in the new apartment. The last clip I probably would have filmed, we were probably at the old one. But I really want to show you like the other bits and bobs that we've got in this apartment just because it's so gorgeous. And I know that you guys will appreciate it. So I'm going to give you a little tour of the rest of the bits and bobs. And then, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, I need to get this hair out. This is the hair show makeup at the moment. And it's like, I've got these tiny, tiny braids in. But I've really like scraped them back onto my head to the point where it's giving me a headache. Probably also the period talking where... Oh, it's just, you know when it's like late and then it comes and it's like, oh, okay, this is game over. So I'm in need of like a little self-care evening. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to 27, but then if we wanna go to 75, we've gotta go to 56 and across. It's really weirdly laid out, but we'll get there. Right, so we've got the play garden. Jed was up here earlier and he's convinced that it's just for kids. Well, it's the majority of the kids. It's very cool, but it's for kids. So here we have the jungle room. Big oh kids. my God. I didn't know this was in here. It actually feels like a full on jungle. This is so cute. Yeah. This is actually such a good idea for kids though. You're gonna spend 24 hours in a hut. Oh. Oh. This is cute. Welcome to her humble abode. I was actually about to say something that's actually I know, nice. that's why I said it. Because you always say it. It is. It feels it out the way of it, yeah. You just snap it. Oh, does it? Oh, it's just a bench. Oh, that's good lighting here. Then we've got something called London Square. Just look at that view of London. It's so, so stunning up here. But yeah, so this is literally kind of like the same, but I think more adult version. You've got like those little benches. Like we were saying earlier, there's like a really big like workspace. Like just, oh. Just working here all day, like that is the one thing. I don't know if I'll talk about it a little bit later, but like I'm actually so scared to start doing like social media, like full time type situation until like I obviously decide what it is that I want to do. But like just having like spaces like this to work around in the building just make, makes my mind a little bit more at ease. What are you doing? 
Oh, hi, babe. That's a little sneak peek. There's like two, two tables, but yeah, there's people in there, so we'll leave that. Okay, we've now come onto the 56th floor. Um, and basically there is this like lounge living, it's like a games room type situation. Um, oh, just look at these chairs and what, these are my future home, stunning. Pool table, um, Jed's actually been playing the golf simulator today, which he says was absolutely amazing. Um, another foosball table. Oh, I didn't know these were here. Um, big TV, so you can just like watch TV okay. with friends. That has like a no entry, so I'm not actually entirely sure what's through that, but there's another pool table, which I just know that Jed and his friends will be up here like all the time. The one really weird thing is that no one is ever in these facilities, like in terms of like, I don't know whether we're like, to be fair, it is six o'clock, but I don't know, then people would be home from work and like, would maybe want to come up here. I don't know. I know that I'm probably gonna be up here a hell of a lot, even just like, making the coffee downstairs and then coming up here and just like, I don't know, enjoy it. I was about to say enjoying a book. I don't read, really like to be that girl, but she's not. Up we go to the 75th floor. This is the East Terrace. So it's all open roof. Um, these obviously chairs, I think they've been covered up because it has actually been raining over the past few days, don't know why. Yeah, it's just, oh my God, look at this. view. I just can't wait to like make myself picnics and come up here. I say it like I can't wait. But it's because honestly things have been so hectic that I haven't even like had any time to myself recently. Well, that's what it feels like, anyways. Bro, you're so strange. <laughs> Look at you, you little hobgoblin. What the hell is that? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's got trees around a circle of grass. Thames really doesn't look that clean today, does it? But that's the thing. So look at the colour of that water. And then this is um, Canary Wharf's water. So they do actually like um, distill it or purify it, whatever. Because people actually still, like they go swimming here. Um, don't know if I trust it still, but I mean, you can see the colour difference and that's crazy. And now this is just the view. Oh my God, it's so sunny. But yeah, again, same layout bar. So there's these like pods, which I'm pretty sure you can like rent out like free that also you can have like dinner parties in which is just so cute i think they've got like heaters inside as well and yes we've got that patch of grass down there which is really nice okay honestly when i tell you that that shower was so good oh my god it was so good and you know what i'm really gonna regret washing my hair for tomorrow's performance just because it sounds really strange but your hair when it's like dance styles obviously like it's it tends to be a style that is like up or a lot of like out of your face so like it's always better to have like greasy or like just i don't know a bit more textured hair when like scraping it back which is why i'm so like oh fuck's sake i'm gonna have to deal with like fresh hair tomorrow but if i would have slept in that hairstyle i genuinely would think i would have woken up bold because the amount that it was like pulling on my scalp as well as like those teeny tiny plaits i'm gonna start a photo because like i genuinely like i don't even know what i look like i look like a little um drowned rat but um yeah that was such a nice shower so much hair comes out when i shower it's an actual joke and you know what i used to be so afraid of that thinking i was gonna go bold but top tip i think it's like 100 to 150 hairs you're allowed to lose in a day that's like normal look at that it's crazy but i promise guys it's fine it's normal anyways though welcome to the new bathroom how are we feeling about it you know what i feel like this actually might be a little better lighting i don't know i feel like it seems a little brighter don't quite know what's going on with the towels there that's jed for you just thought we could do a little skincare together you know what now that i'm kind of like coming towards the end of uni i did a little like instagram poll slash question thing um, as to like what you guys were asking for and you know what was the most refreshing thing ever but like well not refreshing but like most surprising thing is that like I want to say at least 80 to 90 percent of the comments were like bear in mind i put this on instagram saying like instagram tiktoks like youtube 80 to 90 percent of it was youtube which i don't know why but like that just like that warms my heart that i don't know i feel like long form videos like obviously a lot of work goes into them as well as like i just feel like you guys know me better over here do you know what i mean because obviously like i'm speaking all the time don't shut up but that was just like really heartwarming but either way there's a lot of content to come which i'm really excited about filming and like getting my teeth stuck into but another thing that i was like oh i really really want to do that because i said that i was going to do it for the longest time and that's like you know you do like monthly favorites and just do like a like a video a month doing monthly favorites so i thought we'd do a little bit of mini mini one of those in here um either way i've just gone in with my paula's choice exfoliant because i literally swear by this stuff my skin has been so so textured recently that's obviously due to wearing like a lot of makeup and obviously sweating through it and things like that which is 
which is not the best so i'm really excited to also like allow my skin to breathe after this show but this is the watermelon go um it's a pore type toner so yes i am using two toners but that is because i've been neglecting my skincare like this day tomorrow so i was like you know what let's go crazy on it let's go ham um i will say though be careful with your skin i feel like i've slightly trained my skin more but when i started to use loads of products i gave myself a chemical burn wouldn't recommend doing that um and that is just literally like the overuse of putting too many things on your face so i don't recommend that oh also i'll show you my cupboard this is what the cupboard's looking like it doesn't look like it has any organization but i promise you it does because it goes from cleansers to moisturizers to like serums there's one thing that i put you on it is this it's from um body proud it's skin proud's like body range um it is actually insane like it's so moisturizing you will literally wake up so glowy we're just going to do one serum and this is the revitalif vitamin c1 i do really really love this um obviously just to brighten i feel like because my skin has been breaking out so much this does actually kind of help with the redness and like the dark spots that they're obviously leaving finishing off with moisturizer you probably heard me actually bang on about this before because i swear by this stuff so much um it's the jewel action clean and clear literally from i want to say super drug Type of boots but i'm pretty sure it is super drunk it's got salic acid in it's really decently priced and it's just a great moisturizer in terms of like if you're really struggling with your spots but you obviously want to hydrate i'm very much a combination skin in the sense that i come out the shower my skin is so dry like really really dry but like give me an hour and i'll be an oily mess <laughs> but um we've always got to moisturize but yeah this feels so good it's got a, like a little cooling effect as well so if you are really struggling with like breakouts that are kind of like really irritating your skin or really hurting this genuinely just like it does tingle a little bit a little bit of a cooling action but then it soothes so nicely it's like nine o'clock and i'm like it's getting really late like i want to be in bed by 10 um interesting sight but like i was saying i don't i just i need to be in bed so early this evening so i'm just gonna have to cut this vlog off here but i hope you guys did enjoy this video i have got some really exciting things coming up which i'm so so excited for also there is going to be another vlog out on sunday where um i have actually been vlogging all of this week being at the last week of dance college which is so crazy um i think i'm also i really really want to do a video which is kind of um i don't know just like, like a real chat type situation i feel like a lot's been going on and i know that a lot of you in a very similar position i.e like third year uni degree students or like just generally like a lot of things are changing it's scary normally i'm a person who like thrives off change but it's been a lot for me recently so maybe we have like a little a little catch up a little but thank you for watching if you have watched this far love you lots and hope to see you in the next one